ਸੱਚ ਲੋਕ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਯੀਸ਼ੂ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਸੱਚਾ ਵਿਚੋਲਾ ਆ ਜੋ ਸਾਡਾ ਹੱਥ ਫੜ ਕੇ ਪਿਤਾ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਮ ਬੁਲਾ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਮੁਕਤੀ ਪਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਖੁਦ ਵੀ ਮਨ ਪੂਰੀ ਗੋਲੀ ਜੁਹਨਾ ਚੜਾਉਣ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਰਾਹ ਸਚਾਈ ਤੇ ਜੂਰ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੋਂ ਬਿਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਪਿਤਾ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਕੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਯੀਸ਼ੂ ਨੂੰ ਮੁਕਤੀ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਬਣਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਉਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੰਮ ਚੁੱਕ ਲਊਗਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਰੋਣਾ ਹਾਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਦਲ ਜਾਊਗਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਆਸ਼ਾ ਦੇ ਬਾਗ ਤਰਫ ਆ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬਟੂਏ ਕਦੀ ਖਾਲੀ ਨਾ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਭਰਪੂਰ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਜੀਵੋਗੇ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਣਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਯੀਸ਼ੂ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਯੀਸ਼ੂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਇਹ ਮੌਕਾ ਪਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਾਸਟਰ ਜੀ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਬੋਲ ਜਗਰੀਸ਼ ਹੈ ਸਟੀਵ ਹੈ ਐਸਟਾ ਹੈ ਜਿੰਦਰ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋਲ ਆ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਪ੍ਰੇ ਕਰ ਕਰਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪ੍ਰੇ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਕੋਈ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਯੀਸ਼ੂ ਬਾਰੇ ਕੋਈ ਹਸਵਾਲ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਲਿਮਟਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਆਪਾਂ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਗੇ ਵਧਾਉਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਭੈਣ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਬ੍ਰਦਰ ਜਿੰਦਰ ਨੇ ਆਫਰਿੰਗ ਨੇ ਕੋਣਾ ਹੋ ਵੀ ਤਿਆਰ ਹੈ जरूर आओ करके अगली आयो क्योंकि इन्नी ज्यादा बिजी होंगे सीटा नहीं मिलती अगर तुम्हें सीट चाहिए तो जरूर अगली आयो तो एक घंटे की सर्विस होनी है उस तो बाद अभी जाके अपन फैमिलिया के नाम टेकी पीना खा सकते हैं इंजॉय कर सकते हैं पर पहला प्रभु के बच्चे आप आवे दस बजे की सर्विस बच्चे एक दस बजे की इत दस बजे सर्विस होगी क्रिसमस डे की फिर अपने कोर सर्विस है जी अठाई दिसंबर में होनी है ਉਹ ਸਰ ਗਵਾਈਆਂ ਦੀ ਹੋਣੀ ਆ ਏਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਸਰਵਿਸ 3:30 ਵਜੇ ਦੀ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗਵਾਈਆਂ ਦੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਹੋਣੀ ਆ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੋਲ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਚਾਪਤਕਾਰ ਕੀਤੇ ਆ ਮਿਰਕਲ ਕੀਤੇ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਜੰਡੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ ਜਰੂਰ ਗਵਾਹੀ ਦੇਣੀ ਆ ਗਵਾਹੀ 5 ਮਿੰਟ ਦੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਹੋਵੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੌਕਾ ਮਿਲ ਸਕੇ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਣੇ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਗਵਾਈਆਂ ਦੇ ਸਕਣ ਹੋਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੋਲ 31 ਦਸੰਬਰ ਨੂੰ ਨਿਊ ਇਅਰ ਈ 7 ਵਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋਣਾ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਨਾਈਟ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਡਰੈਸ ਪਾਣ ਲਈ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਲਚਰ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਡਰੈਸ ਪਾਉਣਗੇ ਜਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਸੂਟ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਂਤੀਆਂ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਆਓ ਕਰਕੇ ਭੰਗੜਾ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਪਾਉਣਾ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ 7 ਵਜੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਣੀ ਆ ਤੇ 12 ਵਜੇ ਤੱਕ ਹੋਣੀ ਆ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਕਿ ਨਵਾਂ ਸਾਲ ਆ ਇੱਥੇ ਮਨਾਉਣਾ ਆ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਰੂਰ ਹਿੱਸਾ ਲਿਓ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਫੂਡ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਖਾਣਾ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਜਿਦਾਂ ਚਿਕਨ ਕਰੀ ਹੋਈ ਰਾਈਸ ਹੋਈ ਸਮੋਸੇ ਪਕੌੜੇ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਥੋੜਾ ਥੋੜਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਬਹਿ ਕੇ ਖਾਣਾ ਵੀ ਖਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੀ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਇਓ ਇਦਾਂ ਨਾ ਕੋ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਖਾਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਣ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਜੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੀ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਰੂਰ ਆਓ ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋਈਏ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕਰੀਏ ਹੋਰ 28 ਦਸੰਬਰ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਮੀਟਿੰਗਸ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਹੋ ਜਾਣੀਆਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਤੈਨ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਸਵੇਰ ਨੂੰ ਏਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਸ
ਹੁਣ ਸਾਡੇ ਜੇ ਜਿੰਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਾਣਾ ਕਹਾਂਗੇ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਆਫਰ ਹੀ ਲਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਵਾਰੀ ਆਏ ਜਾਂ ਤਿਆਰ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਚਿੰਤਾ ਰੱਖਿਓ ਜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੀਛੇ ਪੁੱਛਣ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੱਡਾਂਗੇ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਬੱਚੇ ਵੀ ਤਿਆਰ ਰਹਿਣ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਬੱਚੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਕਤਰੋਏ ਸਰਨਜੀਆ ਆਪਦੇ ਆਓ ਸਿਰ ਆਪ ਕੇ ਸੁਪਰਬ ਦੀ ਉਸਤਤ ਕਰੀਏ ਜਿਹਨੇ ਸਭ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਬੜੇ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਾਲ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਕਰੋ
ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਅਜੇ ਵੀ ਚਮਕਦਾਰ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਆਈ ਸੁਣੋਗੇ ਕਿ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਲਾਈਆਂ ਹਨ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਵੀਕ ਹਨ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਰੂਰ ਆਇਓ ਕਿ ਹੋਰ ਸੀ ਇਸ ਸਮਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ to God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with the justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. ਸਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਤਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਬਾਲਕ ਜਮਿਆ ਅਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਰਾਜ ਉਹਦੇ ਮੋਢੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਇਹੋ ਸਤਿਆ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਉਹ ਜਰਜ ਸਲਾਹੂ ਸ਼ਤੀਮੰਦ ਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਅਲੰਤੀ ਪਿਤਾ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਦਾ ਰਾਜ ਕਰਨ ਆਮੀਨ ਉਹਦੇ ਰਾਜ ਦੀ ਤਰੱਕੀ ਅਤੇ ਸਲਾਮਤੀ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਹੱਦ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਦਾਉਦ ਦੀ ਰਾਜ ਗਤੀ ਉੱਤੇ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਪਾਦਸ਼ਾਹੀ ਉੱਤੇ ਪਈ ਉਹ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਇਮ ਕਰੇ ਅਤੇ ਨਿਆਂ ਤੇ ਧਰਮ ਨਾਲ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਹੰਤ ਤੋਂ ਜਗੋ ਜੋ ਸੰਭਾਲੇ ਸੈਨਾ ਦੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਦੀ ਅਨਖ ਇਹ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਐਮੈਨ
So next thing you know, the doors are shut. Um, there's about eight to ten people in the room. Mere kamre di hospital mein door baat hoyi hui si. The ten ya eight ya panch ya jaane uthe khade si. Jide pasi hi si ge. The next thing you know, I just shut my eyes and you know both pastors says they're going to pray for me. The me apni akha baat ki tiya jide pastors hi hoge the asi pray kar lenge tere waste. They started praying. Quite rigorously for about 10 minutes, it felt like. You know, that's the mental changi teji that I prayed in the. And I, I swear, hand on heart, I felt something. They also they never knew that, but they got me new kosho yeah. And before this, I wasn't a Christian, and so you know, I've always had influences, Christian influences in my life. But what do you mean? I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. But everything that every word that was coming out of their mind it touched me. But Job, you were not care as he. They were not just sure as he. It was that moment where I felt that someone inside was talking to me. The feeling when we thought that God was making a coy girl under Kariya. And I felt the Holy Spirit come inside me at that moment. The Holy Spirit never knew him. So soon, yeah. To it, the Atma made under Kariya. It was the most. Overwhelming feeling that I've ever felt during that time when I was just lying there. Me kare ni eta ni kare chhi dekhi ni si. Jodo kothi pya si, the pavitra atma mere andar phenda si. Physically, my presence was in that bed, but mentally, I wasn't even in that room. It was just surreal. Me kothi pya si, but dumaak toh me kothi ni siga. Lo and behold, after they prayed for me, jodo ni mere baat the prarthana karke hote, they said. Look, keep praying, and you know, do you want to give your life to Jesus? The view of the picture, like it, may to our own life, and yes, we'll see the day of judgment. That's when I realised this is the turning point. From today, I declare my life to Jesus. The old saying, "Never let me be more than I am." May our own life, yes, we'll see the heart of the data. And it wasn't just me. Can I bear this again? There was a mom, dad, and brother there as well. The middle part, the middle mom, and the other side. We all made a declaration that we were going to, you know, follow Christ. The Asi Fansla Kita, but Asi Yesu Masi the Bhagat Chalna. This was a big ask, especially for my dad, because he's come from a traditional Sikh background. The mere pita vaste baat onka siga, karke wo ho Sikhi de bicho, chame duke bicho aaye si. And the fact that you know they stood by me and said, look, we're going to stick with you, we're going to follow Christ as well, we'll just. Uh, unbelievable. But who can tell me as if there is no Ramage? As if Jesus was here, who can tell me that? From that moment, you know, the, the pastors left, and I was there for another few days. The pastor who came, they were two days only more than that. And I was going to have one last final uh, consultation with the consultants at the hospital. The general consultant said, "Oh, I have hospital to be in." So they said, "Look." Um, Start preparing yourself for surgery. Mentally, it's a big ask. Okay, then we have to have the theory and the part that is surgery. And you know, I took their advice, but I just put it to one side. And all I kept doing was praying. Me have been suing the partner for passing a case for a candle. I was given two or three Bibles at that time, so I was picking and choosing, flicking pages from all three. तो मेरे को तेरे बाइक लाओ तेरे बाइक ऐसी मैं उसका सर ये फोर फोर के दे रहा सी एंड देन अनदर फ्यू डेज लेटर द कंसोल्टेंट कम इनटू माय रूम तो थोड़े दिन बाद फिर जेला कंसोल्टेंट से का बड़ा डॉक्टर जी वो फिर आया ही सेड बिलीव या नॉट यू एक्चुअली शोइंग साइंस ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट ओके तेरे भी � um, they took me off uh, one of this, you know, stronger doses of medicine. Do you need to any other new hope? Do you know what to get? And I was like, okay, let's see what happens. Then that made my faith even stronger, and I start believing that there is something out there. मैं कभी देखने हम की होता है तो मेरी नीचे बहुत बात की प्रभु तो बच्चे. Even though at that point, at that moment, I was new in Christ. तो उस में ले शक्ति में यीशु मसीह ने लाके सिगा. It felt like I'd known him for years. पर इधर लगता सी कि तब मैं यीशु उसी को बहुत चेंटा जानता है। And I never felt so happy lying in hospital bed staring at four walls as when I did when I was reading that Bible। मैं अपने कमरे में बच्चे हॉस्पिटल पे आके आर करता थी इधर पर मैं इन्ना खोजिया ते मेरे पता नहीं लगता इन्हें कुछ भी तोड़ दिया। 
So anyway, I continued, um, you know, guests came and went from the church, people I don't even know. And I realized that the word had spread to the church when I was lying in the hospital. Yeah, so then another few days passed. The consultant came into my room again and said, look, we think you, you won't be needing surgery anymore. And I caught these exact words from the consultant. We have never seen someone with such a severe condition of yours. And healed so quickly. Yeah, the condition, I haven't mentioned it, it's uh, also colitis, it's very similar to Crohn's disease. Also, colitis is yeah, so it's a form of inflammatory bowel disease is what it is. Next thing you know, like, start preparing to be discharged. And coincidentally, the day I got discharged, it was actually my birthday. So that was a blessing in itself. So we And then when I walked out of the hospital, it was like, I was held captive for months and months. I hadn't seen daylight. And I was like, the first thing I want to do is want to say thank you to everyone who was there for me during that difficult time in my life. So but more importantly, step into God's house, where I'm standing right now. And I just look back at the journey, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Even though I went through this, such a big ordeal, I am happy in a way. Because if that never happened to me, I still would have not got to know Jesus. And now, every day I'm in God's house, I feel so blessed. So now I'm standing here, you know, a year and a half later. I'm still not 100%. I'm still on medication. But I've overcome the worst battle. And now my faith's going stronger that I won't be able to take any medication and I will be healed completely. Yeah, so I just want to thank everyone who was there for me during that time. Um, yeah, and thank you. Thank you. Time got to the end. So, Siddhar Gita Devache, Yarena, Pela Gita, Pela Hoya Yesu Jaka Devachonu, Kurli Mali, Shadaya, Manu, Songs are Rakesh Gita Dera, Mirna Rake Gau. और खुशी का टाइम है सारे रात के आपको खुशी के बच्चे गाएंगे खुशी के बच्चे बजाएंगे तब परमेश्वर जी का बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है पैदा होया ये सुजाग दे बचाओ नू दूरली मनीषा का
Thank <laughs> you. 
ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਪਤਾ ਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਚਰਚ ਬਣਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਨੂੰ ਤਿਆਰ ਆ next door before next before this time next year there will be a 1000 seat of building built next door jithe hon next door car park ya ithe 1000 seat di church hudiyan agle saal de vich we still need to raise a lot of money but we raised a lot of money too apan halle vi bahut paise ohde vaste chahiye hunde ha par assi apan kite vi bahut ha thank you for your generous giving towards the building project te main dhanyawad karna chahna ਤੁਸੀਂ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਦਿਲ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਦੀ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਫਰਦਰ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਵਰਕ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਹੈਸ ਬੀਨ ਵੰਡਰਫੁਲੀ ਸਪੋਰਟਿਡ ਬਾਈ ਥਿਸ ਚਰਚ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਹੇਅਰ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਨਿਆਣਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਰੀਜਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਟੂ ਬਿਲਡ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗਸ ਰੈਡੀ ਫੋਰ ਯੂਸ ਉੱਥੇ ਕਈ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗਾਂ ਬਣ ਚੁੱਕੀਆਂ ਆ ਵਰ ਸਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਐਟ ਦ ਮੋਮੈਂਟ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਿਆਣੇ ਦੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਮਦਦ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਐਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਵੀ ਆਈਡੈਂਟੀਫਾਈ ਪੀਪਲ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਵਰਕ ਵਿਦ ਔਨ ਦ ਗਰਾਉਂਡ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਸੈਟ ਆਰਸੈਲਵਸ ਅਪ ਐਸ ਅ ਲੀਗਲ ਚੈਰਿਟੀ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ ਰਜਿਸਟਰ ਹੋਏ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਚੈਰਿਟੀ ਬਣੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਆਈ ਬਿਲੀਵ ਦੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਈਅਰ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਐਨ ਐਕਸਪਲੋਜ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਵਰਕ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਇਸ ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੜੇ ਕੰਮ ਹੋਣੇ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ and uh, eventually we want to see an explosion across india from that place yeah see chode ya utthe bahut bada kaam hove india de vich and over the last 3 or 4 years you as an asian congregation have supported that project in india wholeheartedly so thank you to see je shai lokya to see help kiti ya apa o kaam kar sakiye ho je amen amen one last thank you ek aur thank you kare jo thank you for loving each other ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਪਿਆਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਸਰਵਿੰਗ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਦ ਚਰਚ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚਰਚ ਕਲੀਸੀਆ ਆਇਆ ਉਹ ਆਪਾਂ ਹੀ ਆਇਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਹੀ ਆ ਦ ਚਰਚ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਦ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚਰਚ ਆ ਉਹ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟਲ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਦ ਚੈਰਿਟੀ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਕੋਈ ਚੈਰਿਟੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਰਨ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਇਟਸ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਚਰਚ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਪੀਪਲ ਲਵ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਆ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਿਆਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਹਾਈ ਫੋਰ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਰਥਨਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਸਰਵ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਫੋਰ ਗਿਵ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਨੂੰ ਮਾਫ ਕਰਦੇ ਜੋ ਗਲਤੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਵੀ ਰੀਲੀ ਡੈਮੋਨਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਵਾਟ ਚਰਚ ਇਜ਼ ਫਿਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਹੋਰ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਖਾਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਕਲੀਸੀਆ ਦੇ ਚਰਚ ਕੀ ਆ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫੋਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਵੈਲ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਾਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਆਮੇਨ ਆਮੇਨ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਟ ਦ ਸੈਂਡ ਮੈਨ to turn me slightly higher and my dad slightly lower. How can you do that? But I don't want to compete with my dad. He gets excited, I like that. I like translators that just stand there, monotone, but he gets very passionate. How do you want to do that? Thank you to my dad. I want more for leading this congregation so well. Now the number of the Lord can join on your day is this is the leader. A year ago that suffered a heart attack and he says our the doctor had to take away him and yet God has sustained him for another year. But permission in fear of our son of son of our God. And many of you come on site to help shoulder the work. To see some brother are can come away ਤੇ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਹਵ ਲੁਕ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿਆ ਜੁਰੇ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਓਨਲੀ ਦਾ ਬਿਗਿਨਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਵਾਟ ਗੋਡ ਇਜ਼ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਆਪਾਂ ਹਾਲੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਆ ਜੋ ਰੱਬ ਨੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਆ देयर ਆਰ ਥਾਊਸੈਂਡਸ ਆਫ ਆਵਰ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਪੀਪਲ ਦੈਟ ਨੀਡ ਸੇਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਵੋ ਬਹਾਟਰ ਯਾਰਾ ਇਹ ਲੋਕ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਨੇ ਆ ਐਸ ਇਲਾਕੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਾਲੇ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਹੰਗਰੀ ਫॉर ਟ੍ਰੂਥ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਭੁੱਖ
He could be completely trusted. Moses wrote in the Old Testament that underneath are the everlasting arms. Those are the everlasting strong arms of our Heavenly Father. He's also the Prince of Peace. So Isaiah prophesied that there is a son coming. And in John 1, it tells us that God became flesh. This truth makes people's minds confused and boggled. How could God become a man? God became one of us so he could reach us. God became one of us so he could become a sacrifice for us. You can't kill God. But yet we needed a perfect sacrifice. So God became a man. So he could be sacrificed. It's the greatest demonstration of love there is. And the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 9, the very last verse of 2 Corinthians 9, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Our greatest gift is Jesus. And yet in Jesus there are many gifts that are given to us. We, we have things, my children, I don't know if they're going to get them, but they wanted iPads for Christmas. When I was a child, we had Mars bars. <laughs> okay, we had a selection box. Do you remember the selection box? They now want mini iPads. And it's like, yeah, you can take a photo with it. You can FaceTime and talk to somebody with it. You can watch movies on it. They don't tell me anything. Dad, we can do our homework on it. It's one item, but it seems to do so many things. Jesus is the gift of God to us. But when you accept him, he opens the door to many gifts. I want to mention some of those gifts to you. Through the gift of Jesus, we also re receive, firstly, the gift of forgiveness. We all need forgiveness. We have all sinned. I think we all live with measures of regret. People wish they could go back and do it different. If I could go back, I would treat my wife differently, my son differently, my husband differently. If I could go back, I would not commit adultery. I would not steal the money. I would not work so many hours. I don't know. People live inside of them with the guilt of the things that they've done. And they break our relationships. But you know the greatest thing that sin does? 
It separates us from God. And the greatest forgiveness we can receive is God's forgiveness towards us. God is a holy God. He has holy standards, high standards. And our sin separates us from God. Good works will never be enough. Uh, trying to give money there or here will not be enough. In fact, in Hebrews 9 it says, without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. When God sees my sin and your sin, He demands blood. And so He sent His Son to pay the price. And in Ephesians 1 verse 7 it says, In Jesus we have redemption through His blood. Ephesians chapter the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. I believe some of you could receive, if you want to, that forgiveness from God today. When I receive forgiveness from God for my sins, it now enables me to give forgiveness to those who offend me. Jesus' word to us through John is if anybody confesses their sins, then God is faithful and just to forgive them. So, if you need forgiveness today, through Jesus you can receive forgiveness. Secondly, because of the gift of Jesus, we can now belong to a family. People want to belong. We were created to belong and do community. If you, I, I was studying a few years ago about the movement in America in gangs. The reason the gangs thrive is because families are broken and the gangs provide a place to belong. But what a family to belong to, the family of God. A few weeks ago I had to preach in London. And they gave me a title to preach on. I think it was something like British, Asian, Christian. British, Asian, Christian, And then he said, what's your identity? They were trying to say, are you Indian or are you British? Or oh, now you're a Christian, what are you? And they were trying to say how hard it was for the second generation of Indians in our country to try and find their identity. My parents are from India, want me, want me to be Indian, but I'm raised in this country that gives me all the English. Who am I? India, 
And I said it was very easy for me. I said I really appreciate the education and the upbringing I've had in this country. It's taught me a particular way to think. It's provided me great opportunity. I'm a better person for being here. And I embrace the Britishness. And then I really love being Indian. There are things that have been taught in our culture that you are not taught in English culture. And I'm richer and deeper and I think a better person because of the Indian culture influences on me. But I said to the group, our listeners, said, but the greatest thing that I can say is that before being Indian or before being British is that I belong to God. And I said, my identity comes from whose I am, not where I was born. Amen. So we embrace the culture. So But we actually belong to the family of God. And Paul said to the Ephesians, you are no longer foreigners and aliens. You're not foreigners or aliens, but you can say bloody. Because <laughs> all bloody are foreigners and aliens. <laughs> it's a problem when you're preaching over the language. Anyway. But you are now God's fellow citizens, members of his household. It's a worldwide family. Every tribe, every nation, all over the world, today gathering in thousands of kind of places and languages, worshiping Jesus. You belong to that family. You go back in history, a thousand years, two thousand years, you belong to that family. John tells us that everybody who receives Jesus is now called a child of God. John and the third thing I want to say, Jesus brings peace. Jesus is because he's the Prince of Peace. He makes peace with us in God. He gives us peace in ourselves. And he gives us peace with other humans. But until you have peace with God, you can't live at peace in yourself or with others. Jesus' as Prince of Peace firstly helps us to make our peace with God. When we have peace with God, we have peace in ourselves. Have you ever watched anybody who has road rage? I, I hope none of you suffer with road rage. The slightest thing on the road and suddenly they're shouting and beeping their horns and what is that? It's actually the upset that is already inside of people that the tiniest thing causes the spark to go off. They, they don't know where to let the anger out and there's so much unrest it comes out and strength. 
Maybe you experience some of that. Maybe you experience it, not on road rage, but you experience it with family or friends, and you think, why do I do that? I'm realizing when humans are not at peace with God, then the agitation on the inside comes out to the people around Jesus said in John 14, peace I leave with you. And I don't give you peace like the world does. Different peace. It's a supernatural peace. And he said, so do not let your hearts be troubled. Don't be afraid. I believe in 2015 our world is going to become even more turbulent. But for those who live close to Jesus, their peace will increase. Amen. He's the Prince of Peace. When he lives strong in you, he gives peace to you. He still calms the storm. And then fourthly, Jesus gives us eternal life. I don't think I need to convince anybody in this room. I, I, I think you know that this world isn't it. All these things, uh, our own body, everything will decay and be gone. But we will live forever in eternity. Where will you spend eternity? In John 3 16, it says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him need not perish, but they can have everlasting life. Jesus came to bring eternal life. Jesus wants you to be with him where he is. Jesus wants to spend forever with you. Imagine that. God Almighty, eternal God, takes pleasure in you. In John 14, he said to his disciples, he said, Now don't let your hearts be troubled. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I don't prepare it, then I will come back and I'll take you to be with me. And, and Philip said, well, how do we know where that place is? Philip Thomas. Thomas. He said, how do we know the way? Jesus said, I am the one. Jesus said, man has that. It blows my mind that God would want me to be with him forever. Sometimes I don't want to be with me. You know, like, oh. Everybody get frustrated with themselves. And yet God looks down and he says, I want to be with you forever. I want to give you eternal life. I will send my own son to die on the cross to make it possible that you could be with me forever. What kind of love is that? When we were rebellious and far from God, he says, let me make a way to have you come be with me. Why would you want me to be with you? 
तो मेरा सवाल है परमेश्वर मैंने जो कमेंट जो कर दिया जो ना यार मैं तेरे नाम होगा and his response is John 3:16 I so loved you ओहो जो होना तेरे सवाल है क्या मैं तेरे ना इन्ना प्यार even when you don't love yourself जो तो उसी आपने आप ना भी नहीं प्यार कर दे he loves you and he offers you eternal life and the only way to eternal life Thomas asked and Jesus said I am the way and you Don't know him today. 
You can know him this Christmas. I pray that you won't reject this gift. It's the gift of God's Son. At the cost of his own life. It's, it's not a cheap iPad. It's not a new car. These are not perishable things. This is God Himself saying, I have come to win you to me. Turn your heart towards me and love me. I want us to pray. Please bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, we thank you for the gift of Jesus. And we thank you for all the other things that Jesus brings with him. Forgiveness of sins. Belonging to a new family. That he's a prince of peace. That he gives us eternal life. But ultimately he gives us himself. What a joy. I pray that you would awaken hearts in this room today. That we would desire you above all else. That we would love the giver more than his gifts. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so Jude, International 31st, New Year's Eve activity. So, after the
Thank you.